What is up? Welcome back to the vlogs or welcome if you're new here. My name is Gabby. Great to have you. I'm bringing you along for another few days because we got lots of things to tackle. I feel like I am in full nesting mode entering like officially into the third trimester. I feel like there's so many things to get done that I like didn't really think about before. Not like cleaning wise. I feel like the house is in pretty good shape but just like I don't know small minor details but I'm getting a late start to this vlog it is already 12 30. basically i spent all morning editing this buyer buy lol i'm wearing the same sweater in this video as i am right now but it's fine whatever but i'm super proud that i actually ended up finishing this video it's 23 minutes long i think i started at like 35 though so that'll be going up the same week i think this vlog will probably be going up honestly i feel like I don't know, editing is such a daunting task, especially for like buyer buys because it's so many like click on click offs with like the screen overlay on the side. So I always feel like, I don't know, very unmotivated to get those done, but I'm glad that I got it done kind of before noon and it's just exporting now. So that is done and out of the way and can be scheduled for next week. I have someone coming to pick up some stuff from Facebook Marketplace, some Lululemon that I'm selling. I'm also selling it on Vinted in case you're ever wanting to shop my closet. What did I do with it? Oh my god, baby brain. But I am selling a little a line bra and here, let me set you down. I feel like it's too low. Okay, I'm selling this power pivot and this Java a line bra that no longer fits me slash I don't really wear the power pivot one. So I am selling those. Hopefully they're coming to pick that up around two. The plan was to like get done errands and stuff today, but I don't think that's gonna happen because they're kind of coming in the middle of the day. So I think I'm just gonna have some lunch and then start, I don't know, taking inventory around here on what we need, cleaning, I don't know, something. But I feel like the urge to like have everything prepared just in case. So I wanna stock up on like, household things like toilet paper, laundry detergent, dishwasher detergent, all of the stuff so we don't have to worry about going out and getting something other than like groceries hopefully in the first couple weeks when baby is new and I feel like I probably am going to get hit like a bus after labor and delivery. All right, little update for you guys. The person came and picked up the item so that is fantastic. And then I also cleaned out this little freezer. Honestly, it doesn't really look that clean, but I promise you I did scrape out all of the ice and stuff that was built up and then kind of like reorganized and went through everything in here, which is something I did want to do before the baby comes because I do want to try and prepare some sort of freezer meal or something. I don't know what is going on. Okay, that's better. Sorry. I do want to try and prepare like some sort of freezer meals and stuff for like when the baby comes home so we're not like cooking. We also have like a coupon for HelloFresh, I believe. So I think I might do that and just like help us out with some dinners and stuff because we are mainly an ingredient household. Like we don't have a lot of prepared foods and I'm like, I don't know, kind of picky but also kind of like lucky in the sense that we like to cook dinner every single day. So I'm very used to like fresh made things, not necessarily like freezer food. I don't know, comment down below if you have some good freezer meal ideas, like other than like lasagna, shepherd's pie, I was gonna make like some cabbage rolls and like easy things to stick in the freezer and just like have pierogies or whatever to heat that up, some like frozen pizzas, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to get that freezer kind of cleaned out and organized and actually take inventory of what we have. We do like to kind of bulk buy our meats and proteins and stock those away. So I think just having like more like ready made or like ready to go food so that we don't have to stress about cooking and then I don't know hopefully it's okay Damon likes to cook too so I don't think we'll be in too much of a struggle I'm hoping I have no idea what to expect for postpartum but I also organized the other freezer so that is off the list another thing I want to tackle is what I call our junk corner so I pulled everything out of what typically lives over here I'm gonna pull these off the floor and like give this a good steam up clean uh, and like wash the baseboards and stuff around here before putting some of this away, but I'd love for this to 
all find a home and not be in our junk corner on the floor. I also printed out this little like checklist thing from Pinterest on like ideas on what to do on your like third trimester, which is, you know, like stocking up the pantry with household essentials, um, cleaning your house. I want to fix the front door. Our blinds are like kind of broken on them. So I need to fix them and like re attach them so that they don't like when you close the door they kind of like hit the door and it makes a loud sound so i don't want that when the baby is sleeping like cleaning your shower drain like just like that kind of stuff things that i don't know it's kind of a guideline i won't do everything on here obviously but i think it's like a good i don't know base checklist for like nesting and stuff yeah that's pretty much the update i printed that off today to kind of give me some guidelines i think i might go through this actually and like make my own list and kind of categorize it week by week because i feel like looking at this like some of these things i can't really do right now like wash and organize all the baby's clothes i assume i'm going to be probably getting clothes at the baby shower since i know that's what people love to buy so i can't really like i don't really want to wash like i've washed some of his clothes but i can't do like all of it and like check it off as like done done or like sanitizing the bottles and pacifiers and toys and stuff like that i think it's a little too early so i need to like go through and actually like make a list week by week of what i need to get done and i feel like it's a lot more manageable that way too so that i'm like oh i only have to do like these three things this week these three things the next week and kind of go from it from there instead of like looking at this giant to-do list but the plan is right now we're headed to the mall i have to pick up a book from chapters i got the ina may's guide to childbirth because my doula suggested i read it and i think that would probably be a good idea to prep myself for labor and delivery and then i want to sign up for like a sleep course like the taking care of babies sleep course i don't know they recommend like a feeding course and a newborn course but i think all of that information i feel like you can find online anyways so i don't know if i need if i want to take like a full course for like a newborn thing i don't know i don't know i'm getting overwhelmed i felt like i had a lot of time left but also like not but honestly i think i think we're in good shape like i think these things are just like a nice if they get done it if it doesn't get done it's not going to be the end of the world Okay, I'm having a quick peek around the baby section. They have some really cute stuff, but probably things that we don't like need right away as like a newborn. I think I do want to invest in one of these Kite Baby sleep sacks though. Eventually, I think we'll swaddle for the first little while and see how that goes, but probably transition to a sleep sack later. But I did end up picking up my book. Oh my gosh, wait, this is so cute. So cute, but not really practical for a newborn. swiftly short sleeve half zip polo i absolutely love these way more than the other polos from lemon because they're just like so much softer and i love the fit of this plus it's still fitting over the bum pretty good so i love that but i did have like i was kind of looking for this one which is the milan survey and semi coral one to go mark down so i've been waiting for that one to go mark down which i think it will but do i get this one as well because I don't know, I just feel like it's super cute. I'm not really golfing that much this year, to be honest, but I think it's like still kind of cute otherwise, and I'd probably be a four, like, pregnancy, not pregnant kind of thing, so I don't know, I'm trying to decide if I need to do it. 
Okay, let's do a little car haul because why not? I did end up getting the shirt at Lululemon because I thought the markdown price was pretty good. So this is the Swiftly Tech half zip polo. Again, it was on markdown for 59, which is actually more than what they market down online. So I thought, you know, you might as well get it since it is a little bit more of a discount. I think they only mark them down to like 70 something online so this is the color lip gloss absolutely love this color super great for summer and i just even though i'm like not really golfing this summer i still think it will fit like afterwards and it'll be cute with like a little pace rival skirt so i ended up picking up that they also only had like big bags because they're out of small ones which is actually okay because i was looking this morning and apparently all of my large blue lemon bags have disappeared for some reason so i guess i need a new one anyways hey guys it is the next day honestly another late start to today's portion of the vlog it's already one o'clock but i was up early for we made too much this morning it was honestly not that good of a drop but one thing from my wish list did go on markdown which is the swiftly tech in the polo which i was literally showing yesterday it is 69 dollars, which i got yesterday's like polo for 59 so it was a little bit of a better deal in store but that's the color that i was like hoping to get so i think i'm going to order that and then also they dropped the lilac smoke hottie hots which i'm like obsessed with this color it's like a super light purple it's super hard to tell on camera unfortunately but maybe i'll insert like a little screenshot thing i don't know if it's like too similar i have lavender dew this one's slightly darker than lavender dew but again it's just like another light purple but i think that's like the two highlights from markdowns this morning honestly kind of meh i will have like my google doc linked down below in the description too if you guys want to check out the like weekly releases and markdowns i list everything on there so it's a super great tool and resource to use if you are looking for like new items and markdowns. I honestly did not sleep that great last night. I was super stressed out because I didn't really feel the baby move a lot yesterday. So I was thinking like, oh, I don't know if something's wrong. Because I'm 29 weeks, I'm supposed to be starting like kick counts and stuff now or just like monitoring movement and movement patterns. And it's supposed to be more consistent as he kind of runs out of space in there and it's supposed to be like stronger. I do have an anterior placenta. So I know that can affect like feeling his movements and kicks a little bit so i don't know if he got into like a weird position where i just couldn't like feel him that much and i was super active yesterday so i don't know if that also had something to do with it so i was prepared to go to the hospital this morning thankfully he did wake up and move into a different position so i could like really feel his movements again this morning so i decided not to go after all because again his movements were more on track like he's very active typically especially like around 8 to 10 in the morning and then again from like 2 to 4 ish i find his are his like most active periods and i didn't really feel that yesterday so i was kind of stressing but i think we're back on track today so i'm just having some tea and a little apple for a snack yeah i didn't sleep great last night so once he was moving again this morning i literally went back to sleep for like two more hours i still look like a zombie honestly but that's just how it goes and i'll catch up on sleep later but i'm just glad that he is still doing okay in there because it's really like anxiety inducing not to know and i've had four weeks between my last prenatal and like my next prenatal which i think they were supposed to do like every two weeks i wish i got one at 28 they're supposed to do like bi-weekly appointments starting at 28 weeks but i was last in at 26 and they said come back at 30 we won't need to see you because like I've, it's been a pretty low risk low risk pregnancy so far so i don't know i just wish though for peace of mind i went at 28 like i wish they would have brought me back at 28 weeks a to go over like my glucose screening test and all of my other blood work and stuff and then just to like monitor the baby because i feel like yeah 26 to 30 seemed really really long thankfully it's like next week but and then i'll go every two weeks and then every week after 36 weeks but i just feel like the anxiety between appointments because we haven't had an ultrasound in such a long time and i know like this is like really important to monitor your baby's movements in the third trimester to make sure everything is still good so i'm a little a little anxious about that part but we do have some errands to run later today so i'm gonna bring you along for that
we just finished grocery shopping and honestly that was a huge haul because i did want to stock up on cleaning supplies and things like that and we bought a box of diapers but we did have a five dollar coupon for it so it actually ended up being like fairly decent i think so in total was $131.17. We do have to rent a Safeway as well to pick up a box of frozen chicken. And that usually lasts us a while, but honestly, not mad at that. Okay, I'm also on the hunt. Apparently Lay's has new, <gasps> they have it. Oh my gosh, they have it. Okay, if you guys know, the Miss Vicky's spicy dill pickle chips are like my favorite. And now Lay's has like a, regular chip version of it so I really wanted to try it because I don't know if it's going to be as good as like the other Miss Vicky's like true Miss Vicky's there's still $4.49 here which is like expensive I'm pretty sure Miss Vicky's was like four dollars yeah it's four dollars so these ones are actually more expensive than Miss Vicky's which is crazy so I don't even know if it's worth trying but they also have these ones oh my gosh they have Doritos in all dress which is also my favorite chip flavor, and I feel like I need to try them in Doritos. They also have this new kind, white cheddar, and the nacho cheese. You wanna get those ones? Okay, I think I'm just gonna get regular Miss Vicky's because, I don't know, it's kinda silly to try the other ones for like more expensive, but I know Miss Vicky's are good, so. I'm gonna hold on to that, but I think we have to try the Doritos all dressed. We also found the new, what should we call it? bubblies and the coconut pineapple so i'm super excited to try that when we get home maybe we'll do a little taste test with all of our chips and uh snacks okay rapid fire grocery haul one giant piece of lettuce a giant box of frozen chicken breast pineapple coconut bubbly 200 size one diapers all dressed doritos miss vicky salt and vinegar two things of unscented dish soap one pack of red raspberry leaf tea for my third trimester one bottle of ketchup two things of cream cheese diced tomatoes crushed tomatoes a light bulb one bag of avocados lysol cleaner lysol spray two bags of ripple cut regular chips because we are taking those to a party one mini bag of the Lay's and nacho cheese Dorito inspired chips, garlic, a toothbrush, hairspray, mushrooms, Lysol wipes, two yellow bananas, one pack of fruit cups, barbecue sauce, this one is poblano and lime, dish cloth, hand soap, mayo, strawberries, black beans and a can of red beans and that was everything we got which was actually quite a lot now that i have it out on the counter okay let's do a little snack taste test with the new items we got so this is the coconut pineapple bubbly mm, i actually kind of like that Kind of tastes like summer. You can make it alcoholic too, but it's kind of refreshing. Actually, I really like that. Okay, next up, we have the Doritos All Dressed Tangy All Dressed. I did try the Miss Vicky's All Dressed ones and I didn't love it, to be honest. So let's give the Doritos one. They're not bad, but I think I probably prefer like just regular ruffles all dressed or like old Dutch all dressed to these ones. Although they're good, I think my favorite still remains the sweet chili heat. So I'll still eat these obviously, but they're not like worth the $4 I paid probably. But this, if you like pina coladas, recommend but that is going to be all for the vlog today thank you guys so much for watching if you made it to the end of this video give it a thumbs up let me know down below would you try the new bubbly pineapple coconut flavor and hit that subscribe button for more videos and i'll see you in the next one bye everyone